Alabama Crimson Tide has a tricky game coming up on October 4th at the much improved number 11 Old Miss team in what will be an electric atmosphere and a potential trap. BetDSI.com open with Alabama at plus 550 to win the national championship. With the departure of record-setting quarterback A.J. McCarron, who led the Alabama Crimson side to back-to-back -back national championships in 2011 and 2012, there was considerable concern about who his replacement would be. Worries increased when Bama head coach Nick Saban made a wild-card selection by choosing the controversial Lane Kiffin as offensive coordinator just months after Kiffin was fired as head coach at USC. But Kiffin has surprised with his development of quarterback Blake Sims, who has quickly evolved from question mark to exclamation point, as the Alabama offense is quickly becoming one of the best in the land. Fifth-year senior quarterback Blake Sims was expected to back up junior Florida State transfer Jake Coker, but Coker was not a quick study with Kiffin's new offense. Sims picked it up quickly and also had the advantage of having familiarity with Saban and his teammates, such as superstar junior wide receiver Amari Cooper and junior running back TJ Yeldon. The Alabama offense is ranked sixth in the nation overall, as Sims has an eye-popping quarterback rating of 190.5 with a 73% completion rate, 11.9 yards per attempt, and an 8-2 touchdown interception ratio. Yeldon is averaging 5.0 yards per carry, and Cooper has entered the Heisman Trophy race with 43 catches good for 15.2 yards per reception and 5 touchdowns. Adding to the riches is super sophomore Derrick Henry, who is averaging 6 yards per carry and has emerged as one of the best tailbacks in the nation. Alabama is coming off a 42-21 home payout over Florida Gators that was even worse than the final score indicated. Alabama slammed the Gators defense for 645 total yards, which was the most yards allowed in Florida history. What is significant about the Alabama performance is that Florida has long had the reputation for being a strong defensive team. We expect the Tide to survive by stoning the Rebels' erratic offense and continuing their march to the SEC championship game.